How's it going? Uh, it's been a little while since I made a, uh, a video, so just wanted to do a review of a soap that I got um, in the mail recently. It's new, well, it's new to me, it's not new to the market. It's made by Razor Rock. Uh, it's Tuscan Ode Shaving Soap. As you can see, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I don't care. So I'm just saying it and so you guys know what it is and so you know what I'm reviewing. That's what it looks like there. You can see that. So, uh, my first, I was told it smells kind of like an Italian cologne, something to that effect. My first impressions, honestly, is it smells like cigarettes. So, uh, you ever maybe seen a relative you haven't seen in a while and you give them a hug, uh, maybe somebody who smokes and you get that stale smell. That's kind of what it smells like. Anyway, that's my reality smell to it. That's that's what I can put it to. You know, I, mean, you, I could tell you that it smells like vanilla or different scents that you typically find in soaps, but to me, that's the first thing I think of is cigarettes. So, anyway, I'm gonna give it a shot. We're gonna do a head shave, see what it's like, uh, see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna soak my brush here and my razor, and we're gonna be lathering it up. Be right back. Okay, so today I'm going to be using my Razor Rock Pure uh, Boar Hair Brush. It's my kind of my go-to. I'm going to be using my Razor Rock. This is like a whole Razor Rock lineup. And this is not, I think I just said this was Razor Rock. This is actually an Omega brush. Razor Rock Slant Bar uh, Razor with a feather blade in it. Second use. In the old Japanese soup bowl for bowl lathering. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take the soap. Actually, we're going to bloom the soap. Because I bloom all my soaps. Just for a few minutes. While that's blooming, on a side note, <clears throat> today's laundry day. So I went to throw a t-shirt on. So I can take the video. Pulled out the last of the t-shirts in the pile. I bought a bunch over at Walmart. And there's a pocket. Who the hell puts a pocket on a t-shirt? I never understood that. I purposely buy t-shirts that don't have pockets in them because the pockets are stupid. T-shirts are meant to be used for active wear. And if you stuff anything in there and start running around, it's going to fall the fuck out. So why put a stupid pocket on there? It looks lame. I purposely went for the pile. To, that didn't have pockets in it so I could get all t-shirts without them, grab the last of the pile out of my drawer, put it on, son of a bitch, it's got a pocket in it. Anyway, it has nothing to do with shaving, just wanted to kind of go on my little rant there while my uh, soap was blooming. We're going to go ahead and throw some of this bloom water on my face. And we're going to throw the rest of it on my head. I'm gonna do a head shave today. I'm not gonna shave my face, but I like the way the soap feels on it. I always throw it on, even when I do my head shave. So. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. Now this, I'm not going to bother stopping the video for because I kind of want to give you an impression. I like to see how long it takes certain soaps to to, blow, uh, to load and get ready for lather. And you can't really do that if people cut the film out or cut the video out or stop, stop it. So not that I want the video to be 45 minutes long, but it's certainly... I mean, look at that. It's not taking long for this at all to... Um, it's typical Razor Rock performance. I mean, it, it's... I'm ha I have no problems loading that. Look at that. And uh, I barely took anything out of that soap. soap. You can still see the indent in it. So uh, I'm going to pull the rest of this off. See? That's quite a bit in there. And 
we're going to go ahead and do a bowl lather. Still have that cigarette smell to it to me. I get, I kind of get the cologne thing that they're talking about, but I don't know, maybe it'll smell different. Some soaps really smell a lot different, I've noticed, when they're uh, lathered up. Now that, again, Razor Rock performance, that didn't take long at all to start. It's only been a few seconds. I, I love their soaps, I really do. Um, I'm a big Sterling fan as well, but Razor Rock, I mean, today it's a Razor Rock soap, and they really... Their soaps perform very well, regardless of the scent. Even if you get a scent that you don't particularly like, I mean, everybody does. You buy enough soaps, eventually you're going to land a scent. You're like, wow, this really sucks. And I've had a few that I can't even give away. Not from Razor Rock, but um, a few. That's pretty good. So... Oh yeah, <laughs> this is plenty. I probably overdid it a little bit, but fuck it. Yeah, there's plenty of soap in there for more than, um, I could probably do a couple of head shaves out of that. Um, I usually do my face shaves at night, head shave I try to do during the day, so, uh, which is why I'm not doing a face shave with this stuff right now. All right, so there's plenty of cream in there. It still smells like that same initial scent to me, that initial impression that I got. It's just not as strong. Same thing. Okay, well, but it definitely, as far as, I mean, this is, look at that, that's perfect. Great, great, great lather. It's, it was easy to load, easy to lather. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on. We'll see how easily it goes on here. Hope everybody's day is going well. I expect a lot of you are off today because uh, today is the President's Day. President's Day. Kids are home from school. Hope you guys are gonna do something fun and cool. A little dry. There we go. Hmm. lathers up a little, or lathers up well. It's, I don't know if it's me, but it almost, like this particular soap, is a little bit more thirsty. Um, I've used quite a few Razor Rock soaps, actually. They're, I have most of my, not most, but a lot of my soaps are Razor Rock. And, uh, they're not usually this thirsty of a soap. No big deal. You just add more water to it, like I did. And it's fine. It's just an observation. It could have been me too. <laughs> because as I've recently learned, I don't know everything. That's in another video. Alright. So we're lathered up here. I'm going to go do a first pass. And I'll give you my first impressions off of that. Okay. So I just did my first pass. Still a fair amount of slickness. I stand by the fact it feels a little drier. I'm wondering if maybe I just didn't bloom it long enough. I, I usually bloom it for like 10 minutes. 
and then I, I only, as you saw, I only bloomed it for maybe a minute or two. Uh, but it was a little bit of a drier shave than I'm used to. Still good. Still works. Still works well. I'm not complaining. It's just something I noticed. So, um, took a lot of the hair off. Razor Rock Slant Bar performs great as always. So, um, as far as the scent goes, it's not as strong and the cigarette part of it that I mentioned earlier seems to have gone away. Uh, not, not gone away, but lightened up. And now I can smell what would remind me of a maybe a, a little bit of a men's cologne to it. But it's still got that stale cigarette smell to it. I'm not sure if this would be something that I would reach for quite, you know, a lot. But, you know, we're, uh, we're not done yet. So I'm going to uh, I'm relather up here. And we'll see how it is on the second pass. We've had some really nice warmer temperatures here in the northeast for the last couple of days. Most of the snow that we got and the crap that was dumped on us last week by Mother Nature uh, has not most, but a good chunk of it has melted. Stupid snow. Whatever. Get through it, I guess. All right. Yeah, that second lather. It's it. I'm, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. I, I don't think the soap is dry. I think it was me. Because um, this this time around, I've you know I've added water to it. I, I uh, plus I had more water on my head when I rinsed it. So yeah, I, I really, I'm, I'm definitely going to have more slickness now just by putting it on there. I, I think that was me. I don't think it was the soap at all. So, um, so my advice to you is if you get this soap, just, you know, bloom it like you should, 10 minutes or so, however long it takes you to take a shower. Um, I did not do that, so that's why it was a little dry in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and do this second pass, and we'll come back with a few marks after that. Okay. Just uh, rinsing off for my second pass. Um, definitely have that scent sticking around. Uh, still plenty of slickness on there, I can feel that. Uh, not that I would do another pass without applying lather or anything, but it's there. Um, the scent is actually lightened a little bit, so it's not as sm as cigarette-y, that's even a word, it is today. So, uh, but yeah, second pass took a lot of the hair off, not all obviously, that's why we do hair reduction, or shave reduction, whatever the term is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I like it, works well, I'm going to go ahead and, and do in to a third pass here, or a third lather. I have so much lather in that bowl. Look at that. That's plenty to do. I, I could probably do my face with that too. I'm not going to, but I 
probably could. I kind of go lather crazy when I make, when I um, do my soaps up and creams for that matter. I, uh, oh, that's slick. I, um, I always make more than I need, way more than I need. I don't know if you guys ever run into that. Um, but I believe it was Anthony Esposito who said, fuck it, it's cheap enough. <laughs> and it is. So, uh, all right, so we lathered up. Gonna go for that third pass, and I'll be back with some more marks. All right. Third pass. Same results. Works well. Um, I like it. So, um, I just still not crazy about this scent. You know, it's just not my lost a hair there. Um, it's that it gets lighter with every every pass, but um, it's not something I think I would reach for on a regular basis. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and with that, we're gonna go into my final pass, clean up, and uh, I will back with my uh, be back with my closing remarks. So um, be right back. So I decided to um, I just finished the against the grain pass. And I always do a cleanup pass on my whether on my face or my head. And I scoop the rest of the lather out. Look at all that that I have left. Um, and you can, I mean, it's not going anywhere. It, it's definitely a good, good lather. So we're going to go ahead and take that right out of there. And I'm just going to take the rest of this and just kind of. Feel around and see areas that I might need to clean up. I usually have these two areas on the sides that I, no matter what I do, I just somehow miss them or don't, or I don't get them close enough. And I mean, I, I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear the razor. I can hear it in my head um, cleaning up what's left. Um, I don't know if you guys have that. If anybody else have that issue where you, whenever you shave, there's always an area that no matter what you seem to do, it's just, it's never, you never really quite get it. Well, that's, I have it on my head and I just, I always relather on a cleanup pass and I'm able to get it off that way, um, you know, by either buffing. Um, I, I actually, speaking of buffing, I recently... Um, used that term with somebody and they asked me what it was and and there's been plenty of videos on it I, I know there's all kinds of stuff out there but if you're watching this video and I, I mentioned it and you're a newbie and you're kind of going what is that uh, you basically take the razor and while it's still on the skin you do you kind of go back and forth I do not recommend doing that as a rule I would not shave your whole head or face using that method that method is tends to be aggressive, at least with me, and I would look like a giant cherry ball if I did that. Um, it's just not necessary, and it's a good way to shave off all of your skin. So it's just, it's just kind of like somebody, uh, one of the shaving shows I've seen, uh, I think, I think it was one of the shavers round table, they, they, um, described it as like finishing. If you're sanding a piece of wood and you take get like a really fine grit sandpaper and you uh, you finish it off, you're not doing the whole thing like that, but you're just kind of grabbing a couple of areas that are still rough and you sand it over. It, that's kind of like what you're doing. And I think that's a good analogy. Um, it's not something I would shave the entire head or face doing, but it's a good way to get what's left. So, uh, I tend to chase every hair, which I also don't recommend doing that. Um, I've done, I've chased every single hair on my face and my head quite a few times. And every time I do that, I get nuts and do every single go for every single piece of hair. I end up with razor burn or 
um, or something to, close to it, irritation of some sort. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse that off. Okay. Um, a lot of people recommend, and I do as well, when you're done, uh, when you're done shaving your passes and rinsing off, to do to do a cold water rinse on your face closes the pores. I also recommend that, but. I tend to take it one step further I take one of these and just throw it right on there it's not because it's burn it's irritated or it burns or anything like that it's cold don't get me wrong it sucks if you're not you know if you're doing this on a cold day but during the summer it feels amazing um, but it just it, it it absolutely makes sure that your pores are uh, closed. So um, then I recommend an Allen block. Sweat it with the cold again. Cold water. Make sure all of your shaving cream or soap is rin rinsed off the area because I've noticed if it's not you tend to, these things tend to sting a little bit more. These things give a little bit of feedback. They tell you where maybe you shaved a little bit close uh, or whatnot. Um, they act as an astringent. It helps close up your pores. I know the cold water does too, but these things work just as well or in addition to, great in addition to it. Um, just dry it off when you're done. Don't leave it. Just And then I usually just kind of Set it somewhere. I, I bought these. Uh, this is this is rubber cabinet liner. I cut a couple of squares about the size of it, and I just stand it up on end on my shelf when I'm done, and uh, leave it that way. So um, anyway, so so my final re remark on this soap. Again, this was the Razor Rock. That's focusing or not. Tuscan Ode. Ode. Oh. Whatever. Um, it's supposed to smell like some sort of Italian cologne, I guess. Uh, to me, it kind of smells like cigarettes. I gotta be honest. It works well. I mean, Razor Rock makes really good performing soaps. But, uh,. Yeah, it's not something I think I'm going to grab all the time. You know, I'll use it once in a while. Um, but it's just not something I would I would reach for, you know. Uh, I, it does have a slight cologne scent to it. But I, I for me, and I'm not a smoker, um, it smells more like cigarettes. So, anyway, uh, that's my review of that soap. You guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. Um, again, today I used my Omega Boar Hair um, Shaving Brush Razor Rock Slant Slant Bar with a feather blade on its second use and uh, the good old fashioned Japanese soup bowl I used to, uh, to do my lathering in. And uh, I get the this, the Allen block that I used, uh, and then after I'm done, I mean, I think I, at some point I'm going to do a video on my shave routine, my post, pre and post, and uh, we'll go over what I do. Um, but today I just wanted to review the soap. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Enjoy your President's Day, 2017. Uh, you and the kiddos have off from school at all. You guys decide to go somewhere. Have fun. Be safe. And we will see you next time.